Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you how I transfer files from my Android phone over to my MacBook Pro. There are a few ways to transfer files from an Android device to a MacBook, but when you're dealing with large files, these methods can be painfully slow. Let's quickly go over some of the slower options. You could use storage services like Google Drive or Dropbox, but uploading and downloading large files can take forever. Bluetooth transfer is another option, but it can be really slow for big files. Then there's a the classic method of using a USB cable, but even this can be tedious with large files. Plus I often run into issues when trying to plug my phone into my MacBook to transfer files. Even though I select the file transfer on my phone and then use a USB-C data cable, it still doesn't work for some reason. So I wanted to show you how I transfer files from my Android phone. I use the Pixel 8 Pro, but this process should be similar on any Android device. We'll be transferring the files to my MacBook Pro. So I use an external SSD drive for this process. Since my MacBook only has 112 gigabyte SSD built in, I like to keep most of my files on an external SSD and work directly off of that. This helps save space and keeps my MacBook running smoothly. So you really have two options. Transfer files directly onto your MacBook if you have plenty of storage or store the files on an external SSD drive and just plug that in to your MacBook and work off of that. For my external SSD drive, I choose the Crucial X9 Pro for its fast speeds, but you could also use a USB stick or any external hard drive. However, SSDs are generally more reliable and faster than traditional spinning disk external hard drives. Most newer phones have a USB-C connection, which looks like this. You can now buy SSD drives and USB sticks with a USB-C port, allowing you to plug it directly into your phone without any adapters. But if you already have a USB-A hard drive, you can get one of these USB-A to USB-C adapters. Okay, so now let's walk through the process. Okay, to get started, you'll need your external SSD. And if you have a brand new one that you've never used before, a good thing to do is plug it into your MacBook to make sure it actually appears on your Mac and to make sure that it's in the file format of XFAT. So I'll just show you how to do that first. So we wanna plug this in. So I've plugged this into my Mac and you can see it appears up here, but if your USB or external hard drive doesn't appear there, you want to come up to spotlight and go to disk utility app and then in here you can see you have your external drive and then you want to check that it's in XFAT. Now if it's in a different format it might not work on your phone and your MacBook. Some USBs and hard drives are formatted in NTFS which works on Windows devices and if it's formatted in that it's not going to appear over here on your MacBook. It will appear here, but you won't actually be able to open up anything on the hard drive or USB. So you'll need to come into here and reformat the hard drive and change it to XFAT. So all you'll do is click erase and then it will ask you to format and then you click the format XFAT and then it will wipe everything off of the hard drive. So make sure if it's stuff you need, you've copied it onto your Windows computer or another device. And then once you've done that, it's gonna erase the hard drive and then you'll be able to use it on your Mac and your Android phone. Okay, so once you've checked that your hard drive or USB is in XFAT, then we are good to go. So I'll close out of this and eject my hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to plug my external SSD into my phone. And then once it's plugged in, if you have a look up the top here, you can see this little USB symbol. You wanna swipe down from the top. So if you click on this, it'll take you into the SSD and you can have a look at the files on there but we want to go to our phone's file manager, which for the Google Pixel is this one here called Files. So we'll click on that, and then you'll be able to search for the file that you want to transfer to the SSD. And there's a few ways to do it. For the Google Pixel, it um, separates things into categories here, or you can come down to internal storage and then search for your DCIM folder. And that's where a lot of the stuff from your camera roll will be sitting, um, so any photos and videos. So for me, I've actually made a folder on my phone called video. And if I click on that, this is the video I wanna transfer over to my SSD. So I'm gonna click and hold on that, and that's gonna put a little tick there. If I come up the top here, I wanna click on these three buttons. And then you have the option to move the file or we can copy it. So it's gonna make a copy of the file and move it to the SSD. So I'm just gonna go 
copy and then down here you can copy it to somewhere else on your internal storage on your phone or we can copy it to our SSD which is this CT1000. So let's click on that. This opens up the external SSD and then I can put it in one of my other folders or I can just copy it straight down here. So I'm just going to copy it straight here and then we'll click copy and you can see it's copying there. Now it says it's being copied. We can actually swipe down from the top and open the SSD just to check. And you can see here, my file has been copied. So now we want to swipe down from the top and we want to eject. Okay, now once that's disappeared, it is safe to unplug your SSD. And now we can plug this into the MacBook and transfer the files to the MacBook. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug this into the MacBook. And we can see my SSD right here, so we can open it up. And we can see the file that I have transferred right here. So we can either go and copy this from the SSD into one of our folders on our MacBook, or we can just use it directly off of the SSD, which is what I usually do. I can click and just drag this over to my desktop if I just want to keep it onto my desktop. And so now that's saved on to my MacBook. But for me, I usually just work off of the SSD to save space on my MacBook. So it's up to you with what you want to do, but that's how easy it is. And that's it, a quick and efficient way to transfer large files from your Android phone to your MacBook. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.